<laughs> okay, so after JP's party, <laughs> there was this horrid bar hag <laughs> that, that ended up kissing Bill. Yes. And it wasn't James Stick. No. And then okay. we went back and drank a bunch of whiskey at his apartment till like okay. four in the morning. Yeah. And he and I were both absolutely trashed that night. Yeah. Now, I get a phone call from him the next day going, hey, do you remember if I ever called Jess last night? <laughs> my girlfriend at the time. To which, uh, to which my response is like, no, I'm the absolute wrong person to ask. I like have no recollection of the majority of that evening. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. And he's like, okay, because she's acting kind of weird, and I feel like I called her and told her that I kissed this girl outside the bar. Well, to be fair, she kissed me. She did kiss you. Oh, my God, that woman was... Apparently, she, she is so a you were sociologist. So, so you're, a me, you're part of the Me Too movement? Uh, yeah, that, maybe. I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> but I'll say yes. Okay. I like being a part you're of You're not movement. sure what the Me Too movement is? No. Well, then you're part of the Me Hashtag. Three. Hashtag me too. Yeah. No, I'm I'm woke. Don't get me wrong, oh, but God. I'm asleep. But, uh, in the library. Yeah, in a specific section. Yep. Anyway, so hundreds and biographies. So uh, I still don't know if I called her, but I'm pretty sure we spoke. And I'm pretty sure she broke up with me that night because she found out about my darling Susanna, pecking me on the neck outside of the bar. Susanna, that was her name. But so for weeks, like I was still like texting her. And she was just asking, like, acting really distant. So I wasn't sure if we were still together. <laughs> and so I flat out asked her in text, like, hey, like, is something wrong? You're acting, like, really, really distant. And she says, yeah, I'm fine. I just need some time. And I was like, okay. Because I feel like that, that was a good invitation for her to say, like, we broke up. Like, we're not together. But no. So Did you oh, ever get no. a, a yeah. solid answer? Yeah, I wound they up. They have to be solid about it. Uh, it's Some. always on them. That's what I've heard. That's the rule. What's that? The girl has to be like, it's over. And then it's finally over. Maybe. Actually, it's even then sometimes. Yeah. It's it 2018. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's over. Yeah. They'll come back. Or, well, 2018 with like everything. You, you probably need some papers signed. <laughs> right. You know? So, uh, like, I wound up calling her like two weeks later and like we're just talking. And I was like, hey, like, weird question. Like, are we still going out? And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, "Are we like still together?" And she's like, "Well, kind of." I was like, D "Did you <laughs> did you break up with me?" And she was like, "Well, you know, like I like I had to keep asking her." And finally, yeah. she was like, "Yes, I broke up with you." And I was like, "Oh, okay, cool, peace, bye." Was she just like? Was she just like fucking? Did she regret it and knew that what? you were like blackout drunk? No, she like had no idea. She had no idea I was blackout drunk. How did she have no idea you were you were so drunk that night? I I don't know. You could you start being mean when you're drunk, Bill. That oh, I, <laughs> you, sometimes I do. You could have there. There's no way she couldn't have told over a phone call that you were wasted yeah, at four thirty in the morning, like after JP's birthday party. Like yeah, nope, zone sober. But <laughs> <laughs> she was probably drunk. Probably. Anyway, we had a lot in common. No, I didn't so uh, like the transition to all these assaults, you know, <laughs> no, I, no, I, I no, gotta, no. I gotta mention this. Um, I want to, I, I really want to know what you guys think of this, and I, the, I'm, I'm hoping there will be some comedy out of this, even though it's a serious. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, no. Okay. So, have any of you heard of the Orwells? Oh, I, I've just been hearing about all this. Right? Yeah. It's been all over the place. No. All over the fucking place. So. There's a different, um, I have a bias about the story, but the story is that this band called the Orwells, they're from Elmhurst, they're kind of like uh, garage rock, um, they got fucking huge, they they came from Elmhurst, they, they, were, they were playing all over the fucking world, they were on Letterman, and um, no. apparently all these people were saying, like all these local bands and everybody were saying that like they're huge fucking dicks, the singer like beats people up and shit, and the biggest issue was that they were fucking a shitload of underage girls. And mm. um, actually, so suddenly now, like, I just want to... Uh, <laughs> They're I mean, banned from the children's section, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I Okay, to be clear here, uh, there's no fucking kids, all right? I don't, no fucking pedophilia. You watch no. me if you want your library card. <laughs> uh, 
No, I, this is such a mistake to fucking <laughs> share this fucking story. No, but and any anyways. So what 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 upset me is that like, so I just go online and probably like you, you just hear about this shit everywhere, yeah. and then like this person. Well, I mean, they're like they're like blacklisted now from everything. Like, yeah, I mean it's on every music and DIY page and everything. Like. Yeah, yeah. And 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 what bothered me is like people posted like. Here's the evidence, and it's literally the same type of Google document that I would make for like the the you know structure of this show. So I mean, I could go on there and be like, Domino Sandry, yeah, blue grass more like blue rapes me in the ass, Sandry. You know, really you, out of blue, you couldn't get a better joke. I like. I, it. I think couldn't. I think that should be your new tagline. That's pretty good. What like? Blue, blue rapes me yeah. in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I'm blue. Domino. I'm Dude, the blue I'm, rapes in I'm the not, ass I'm not musician. Good at jokes. But I'm just, I'm just saying that, like, it's all like I'll pluck your g-string. That's l- a, like, ooh. and then the next day that they put, like, like, well, no, it wasn't next day. It was like within three hours. They put on their page, "We have disbanded," mm-hmm. and I don't know, man. Like, I think it's pretty obvious because it, because I've I've heard this from Neil deGrasse Tyson, the science guru. That it is impossible uh, for did he, he, did he teach at a Canadian high school? No, no, he's he, you, you never no. heard of him. He's the guy on the Cosmos show, the the black. No, guy, I, uh, Degrassi. Oh, okay. <laughs> he and Drake are friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, so no, this guy said he he's like he's like you know th- the only way you can keep a secret between two people is by one of them killing the other because everybody spread. So I'm thinking like there's no fucking way that like. 70 fucking people can make this document and these allegations and just completely constantly lie that they screwed underage girls and shit. And I'm just like, I don't Some know, man. Some shit probably I, I I just can't believe that shit, like, I don't know, how quick that got it's shut a, down. It, and it's a lot. That's a lot of people to just flat out lie about something that yeah. serious. Like, I get that some people lie sometimes, but that's like... 70 fucking people saying the same shit about the same yeah. people sounds pretty credible to me. Yeah. See my see my bias was when I was playing in my band and like in the whole psych scene and garage rock band scene. It's like as soon as you fucking made it, everybody hated you. You know well, what I mean? Well, that's a, that's like that in every Yes, yeah. I know because I th- I I know. Yeah, yeah. It's like that it. in any <laughs> performance scene. Like You hate everyone. <laughs> you do. You hate comedians <laughs> fucking hate everybody. Oh yeah. And I know, I know, I talk some mad shit about musicians. Oh yeah, so I try so, not to. I try not to, but I, it's, it fucking happens because some people aren't good and they get recognition. Sure, but well, that well that that's what I thought happened with that. And I don't know. I always play fucking devil's advocate because I, I don't know when. I don't know what it is when somebody's hated. That interests the fuck out of me because I'm thinking like. You should you should have been at the uh, brewery when Bill walked into a wall. Then <laughs> there was a lot, there was of, a hate lot of hate directed well, no, towards I, this well, guy. Well, no, I'm saying you know when somebody is loved, they're like or praised. They're putting effort into being loved and praised, and they know what they're doing. When somebody's hated, they don't really like. They're just you don't really know why they're hate or they, or they don't really have control over why they're. So it makes me interested in that and in that like perception. That's why hmm. like and that's like okay. So for example, the first thing I thought of with the Orwell's thing is like, dude. I don't know if this is fucked up, but first of all, age of consent varies from state to state. And like the oldest chick in there was like Yeah, but 16. when you have to start using no, that excuse, <laughs> there's usually a problem. Yeah, You're like, yeah. hey, listen, in Alabama it's 14, so I'm cool. Yeah. I we were, think, it, I we were think across it's state crazy lines. that there's something like that, but then people are like, dude, Chuck Berry was fucking awesome. You know? You, I mean, you know about him. No. Chuck Berry, I heard some allegations. Yeah, no, about he, Chuck no, he, Berry he married his, shit. He yeah. married a chick when she was 13. And then skip town until she was like legal <laughs> age. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> well, that goes back to even stuff like like Dr. Seuss. You know, Dr. Seuss was like a huge piece of shit. Oh, was he? He was that. just good at writing children's books. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, I, like? I've heard that he, too. He cheated on his wife who had cancer for like 13 years, and he was cheating on her the whole time, and didn't like say anything about it until she died, and then he was like. He married his mistress, and it was, like, really fucking weird. Wow. Uh, fucking, uh, uh... Who was it? What the fuck? Oh, you Mother know, Teresa you, you fall was a piece into of shit, a too. Really? Weird <laughs> yeah, Mother, Bud, Ter- right? Mother Teresa, yeah. one of the big things with her is uh, when she was helping, I think she was in Africa, when she was, like, helping kids in Africa, one of the weird belief things that was, like, with her, her strict version of whatever, you know, whatever 
sect of Christianity she was from. I don't remember. Um, she, oh, she had to have been Catholic because she's a saint, mm-hmm. right? Okay. I would um, think. Didn't believe in certain uses of medi- of certain medicines. So these kids that were getting sick, she would deny them the proper medical care because it wasn't it wasn't like within the rules of her religion. And then when she got sick, she took the same care. Huh. So like she she gets praised, you know, like not not trying to necessarily drag her name in the mud, but she was kind of a piece of shit, just like the rest of them. Yeah. And I've heard that about Gandhi too. That Gandhi yeah. was kind of a cunt. How we had like underage sex slaves. Yeah, it's weird. Like, no shit. wonder you can have enlightenment with all this fucking. Yeah, there's a, definitely heard some shit about orgies with him. Uh, he was a Hitler supporter, but that. I don't know about that because a lot of people were Hitler supporters before they knew yeah. exactly what Hitler I mean, was all no, about. You heard about like how this government, like before, there was like the third, you know, the Third Reichs, like like in the first war it was like what they just wanted to get rid of communism and then and then the second war they wanted to spread Nazism. So in the first war before like, uh, before Nazis became a threat to us, they just donated a shitload of Ford cars to to the Nazis. Interesting. <laughs> they did. No, I didn't this know is proven. I've saw that. Um, I, I've seen it in like various documentaries. But they. they I also they, know that Ireland was real ambiguous about which side they were on. Bill. Well, I mean, <laughs> as a superpower. And our love to Ireland. Right? <laughs> right. That yeah, to our special <laughs> Irish fans out there. Uh, <laughs> let's let's get some answers. Are, are yeah, please please write in, comment, uh, tell us your your political idealisms. Yeah, only relating to World War Two. What right do and you the have Axis talking powers. about me and did my it? Irish friends, you bullies? Right. That's exactly That's right. The email you're gonna get. So wait, did you have a question or an idea about the Orwells? Oh yeah. So speak. Okay. So uh, just to get it straight, I I know they're fucking assholes. I know they're because because despite the sex allegations, have you ever have you ever been around like uh, venues with them or anything? I I haven't. But they just first they got their show canceled at the Metro because they they were gonna have like a huge like home show mm-hmm. and then it got fucking canceled. And I you know and I'm if super, they got if they got blacklisted that fast they people must have known about. Oh this yeah. Before. No no no. They have shit on video where like the singer was. So there'd be like all really young girls in the front and be pouring honey on them and then making out with them. And then song later, when it gets intense, he's swinging the mic around and hit one of them in the face <laughs> that broke her nose. Oh, shit. So he, they're definitely assholes and they definitely fucked up. But I'm just saying like if somebody wanted to, like they just don't like you, they could totally make a fucking Google Docs. And then just have a whole bunch of people like, no, this guy's an. Athlete. Yeah, but not, but it wouldn't like, have consequences like that. Like, yeah, you're right. We're you're in an age where where we need to look more seriously yeah, uh, at allegations. Uh, one but, paragraph on a Wikipedia page. Yeah, but there there still is a fair amount of due process that goes into this, and and most of these guys who end up getting like straight blacklisted, all a lot of that stuff ends up coming out as true. Like it's been pretty rare that, that that these sorts of allegations have been proved like false, especially when there's more than one of them. Yeah. Like Chris Hardwick is the only one that I can really think of that that like they <laughs> investigated and said was bullshit. But well, th- didn't that shit happen with Aziz and sorry? No, sort of. He was got like- crucified for something that was not the same thing. And actually, a lot of in in the defense of the Me Too movement, a lot of people within that. Uh, didn't like how they had handled that either. Essentially, he was just kind of fucking rude. He was just kind of a dick on a date. Well, no, didn't he? Well, f- do you guys know what happened? I yeah, he asked her to suck his dick. No, no, it was. I think he asked her if he can eat her out, and she was kind of playing flirtatiously, like, "Oh, maybe I don't know." What do you th-? like? So he thought she was like he was. Like, she was like egging him on, kind of like trying to be sexy, like, oh, "I don't know." I'm going to be a bad girl if you do this. And then he ate her out. And then, like, she, she tried swimming or something. And then, and then she actually admitted that it was wrong. I think that's, no, that's there, how I remember. What, from, what I, from what I read about it, it was she was trying to argue that there was, like, sexual coercion and that, like, mm. like he pressured her into sex. But really, when it, all, when it all was said and done, it sounded just like it was a bad fucking date and he was kind of an asshole. Yeah. And she didn't like make it very clear it was kind of ambiguous yeah. which i mean like enthusiastic consent is a thing and i get that but also it's not the, they they buried him like like he was fucking bill cosby 
like he, there was a lot of people who who put a lot of hate on him very quickly, and then a lot of yeah. people immediately and, went, and "Oh no, we fucked up. This isn't the same thing. Well, we well, can't. That, well, we delegitimize I, ourselves by making these things the like feel the same." But. Well, well, that's that's what I'm seeing about like the false alley. Like you could have a novel list of allegations say against you, yeah. and then everybody hears about it. That oh man, this guy's a fucking offender in the children's section in the library. No, <laughs> but no, this wasn't. No, God no, damn it! No, 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 uh, no, but no, this but no. This wasn't a false allegation. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but but I'm, but I'm saying that that say it's a false allegation, and then that news fucking spreads, and then suddenly they're like, no, everybody was lying, but it doesn't fucking matter because as time moves on, the only thing they remember is that is the allegations. Well, it like you, ruins your reputation. You've heard no publicity is bad publicity. Aziz Ansari's doing fine. Chris Hardwick oh, okay. is back on is back on the Talking Dead. Um, there's been talks that Louis C.K. is going to get another show. <laughs> I heard about I, that. I, I heard oh, that. Sure. In the, I completely in the support him. That's just me, though. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about. I don't know how I feel. I actually don't. Re- I don't know how I feel about any of that. The I I would rather game. not comment. Yeah, on, I don't even on any know that much it. about that. Uh, oh, he some well, weird sex stuff. Yeah, well, well, like first of all, there's like a shitload of sex in <laughs> in the comedian culture. I guess because they go touring and everybody fucks each other and does coke. So, Sounds like there's a shit ton of like deviant shit and yeah. se- and like a lot of seemingly sexual assault <laughs> it's, in the it comedian basically world. just sounds like the rock and roll scene any too really. except yeah. for for whatever I, I reason the say, rock and roll scene no one gives it like no one seems to no one seems to accuse those guys as much as like they do comedians yeah I think probably because comedians fucking talk about it yeah right <laughs> as, so, as horrible as that's how they just can't keep a secret. Right? Well, no. So, what ha- he were they friends of his? They were fellow friend comedians. Two girls. And he took uh, them to a hotel room, and then he just he asked them to but, stand there while he jagged off. Yeah, but this wasn't the uh, like. There's more. There's a lot more. Oh, there was more. Yeah, that he that this was like he was known for doing this sort of thing, and there was no like real consent ever given for him to do that. And I know Tig Notaro talked a lot about it because she was she had been like involved in some of it. Yeah. But I'm yeah, just saying, like if it was he, that, what he did was fucked up. <laughs> if it was that one situation, though, I I don't I think I, I disagree. Like I think it was just like, why didn't you? It, it's like that movie Split. Why didn't you just leave the fucking room? Like, I mean, you could leave the room, but the fact that he did it at all is kind of fucked up. Not yeah, to mention again with the with like coercion and stuff. Like Louis C.K. is a big fucking name. Yeah. He's not the person. He's not the person that you want to. You know, have on the wrong side of you, especially in such a competitive. Uh, well, also, if you, well, what if you look at it on the flip side, where you want to sue him because he is famous? Because the, because I don't know if any, as far as I know, I don't know if there are any lawsuits involving this. No, weren't they, they, weren't they suing him for like? Uh, I didn't know that there was any. I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm just not informed. I don't remember anything about lawsuits. Or no, no, I no, know they, that he was certainly no, no, accused. No, no, it doesn't. It work like where they try and accuse you, and then you the, you reach a settlement. So that if it doesn't fucking go out, like I guess I I don't know. I think your view on it. I think, I think your view on it's a little like more cynical than mine is. I, I don't just, think yeah, a lot no, of I don't think fine. a lot of people are going out there trying to you know and lie you know, about it. It I, does happen. Like I, uh, what happened to um, uh, Kane from the Blackhawks uh, player. Yeah, he. He w- that happened to him where where he was accused of raping a girl and then the, an investigation said that she was lying, like so it does happen but it's really really rare and coincidentally right when he's fucking huge you know yeah but yeah yeah no I I I, I th- the one thing I can say that I guess goes against my view is that like the thing that sucks is like you can't put yourself in a woman's shoes because women like like this is just the truth women tend to be more emotional whether it's emotional or hormones like because I try to think like if I was a man. You fucking if if some like should I take the shovel from him, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? What's wrong? Well, nah, dude. No, keep going. What? No. What did I say? That some very sexist stuff. Yeah. Is but it sexist? Yeah. Yeah. You you don't think people would agree? I know What's people would not agree. Yeah. Most okay. likely like women. Okay. Well then, I'm sorry <laughs> I think it's I, a it's a what, dangerous my point, my point is that, that if some fat ugly monster woman was. <laughs> telling, <laughs> T- t- <laughs> no, oh no, God. no, because no, we just because, gave him a no, bigger shovel. <laughs> no, 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 be, because I'm comparing it to somebody like Louis C.K. This bald, fucking nasty ass cottage cheese skin spotted. Dude, I know, I know a woman off. like that. She lives on my block, and she is fucking mean. So, well, no. So I'm saying, so if a woman like that, je- like masturbated in front of you, I'd be like, wow, that's 
fucking nasty and start laughing. You know, like I wouldn't be like, I'm so traumatized. I mean, I now, think the culture is a and little that, and bit that's, different. That's what I meant. The difference between like women and men. They're, I mean, can you agree on that? No. I mean, yeah, we there, it'd be a lie not to acknowledge differences between I, women and I, men. The emotional thing is where I is where I draw the line. E- okay, maybe that's the wrong word, uh, but but I mean, like, I think if I, I were I, victimized by a woman, I'd still be pretty upset about it. I don't think that happens as often. Yeah, I'm talking about that specific situation. Somebody just masturbating in front of you. Uh, you know? It could be pretty bothersome to people. I yeah, would yeah. not be a fan of that. I don't know hey, if I'd sue her. But in that, Chicago, that happens all the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, never going back to that library, that children's section. <laughs> <laughs> Was it, all right, now this has morphed into me masturbating in the fucking library. That's no, not no, what no, happened. In the kids section. And Let's <laughs> it was the biography section, okay? <laughs> uh, so, so which of the kids' books should I avoid taking out of the library? The Dr. Seuss ones. Because he was she a terrible was person. That is not wheat paste. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. She was doing the one, those like cardboard books. What? When I went down there, she was shelving like cardboard books, the ones that only have like six pages. The thicker. Sticky Cheese Man? No, not the Stinky <laughs> Cheese Man. Although, what a great book to, to fool around in I front of. The book was Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> oh, God. No, okay, come on. I like it. The, there was no exposure. The, I, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Uh, we have fun here, don't oh we? Oh, God. I hope no one okay, listens I, to this. But, okay, but I, I got to apologize. I was just trying. I apologize if I said. Emotional. I don't, I don't know. You, you guys try to save me here. I'm fucking dying. All right. I understand. <laughs> I understand what, the cultural what, the differences. Well, the cultural difference. But uh, and the difference in power dynamic that makes it more you know disturbing for a man to do it yeah. to a woman than a woman to do it to like a man. If, if but I'm, it's still this. It's still on the same scale. Like if I would totally women, understand if yeah. someone was also upset really for a woman on doing the it too. too. Maybe not necessarily. Yeah, I was say like a woman, but like. Because I know a lot of women that would handle it exactly like, you know, like you said. It would just, just be like, oh, that's fucking gross. Get the yeah, hell out so of here. I have friends who would, just, who would think that was just straight funny. Girl, yeah, girls exactly. who would think that was funny. But also, we're fucking callous people. <laughs> right. I don't know yeah. if you listen to the shit that, that we're saying. Like, it would take a lot, I think, to bother any of us. So our perspective on this is kind of fucking moot. If, I, if Louis C.K. masturbated on me, I'd just be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That you also got to think about, like what circumstances is going yeah. to be in your next special? I want royalties. <laughs> 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 oh, so uh, were these like up and coming comedians? Were they like maybe on the same show as him? Could he yeah. help their career? So yeah, that's really like not good situation. Yeah. To that yeah. end, Tignataro was uh, working with him at the time. Oh, you know what? I know what you mean about saying that it was numerous times because he did do it all the time. Yeah. And I think that's why it happened for a while and comedians were just like, yeah, that's fucking Louis. That's, that's classic yeah, it was, but, Louis. From, yeah, when it all came out, it sounded like, pe- like people had known for a long time that he was doing this shit. Yeah. Like it was just, it was something like, like some spoken about. in that it was in the news then? Because it was like a... People, be, well, people were like, it, I guess it had just been one of those things where they're just like, he, you know, there's this, there's that's this weird, weird thing, thing about, that he does. yeah, there's this weird thing about artists that for some reason tell you what, society you allows them to do crazy deviant things as a, because like, it's okay to be quirky and fucked up if you're an artist, like, it's because there, I don't know what it is. There's this glorification of the brokenness well, of I, art. Man, that's like probably Three fourths of the punk scene, you know. Oh, it's all it's all about over. Any, all it's all over. That punk bands do, or yeah. you know, specific people in uh, punk singers. Certain like, I mean, shit. To take like Gigi Allen, just as an example, did any number of weird, horrible shit. Yeah. And people fucking praise him, you know. There's also a lot of people that definitely do not. But yeah, for that reason, know, yeah. he's got like an entire following. Because he was like that. Yeah, and and I get it because that's uh, that's what a lot of artists do is they try and push you know push the norms and be deviant. But at this point, like stuff like that, it, it's just I think the there's been a paradigm shift in what is acceptable now. Like yeah. before, like some of the sex stuff would be like, oh, he's kind of deviant with that shit, but he's a you know he's an artist. It's part yeah. of you know it's part of his shtick. Or like that's a, that's you know the kind of fucked up mind that his art comes from, and they just kind of let it slide. And I think now, it's just like so, particularly with uh, with sex stuff, it's just not gonna fly anymore. 
I think I think if I think that there's going to be a law where you like have to give a consent form before you do. So so that's the only thing that's going to change. No, and I, I think, don't, I, don't think I, pe- I think that paranoia is unfounded. I think it I it's not that fucking I don't have any problems. I I have sex. Yeah. Just like a normal fucking person. Sure, all up and oh. down the library. <laughs> <laughs> just That's storage yeah, really and say, All of you so now know <laughs> my sexual habits, but... <laughs> God, <laughs> God damn it. So he but no, like, I, I have sex in this day and age, and I don't seem to ever come across this problem that people see, keep you know, talking about. I don't seem to have a problem getting somebody to be like, yes, I'll have sex with you. I don't know where this uh, where this problem of of, uh, of not being able to get consent is coming from. It's not hard, and it's generally a yes. If you're at the point where you think you're going to have sex with somebody, well, if, well I mean, because um, you're probably, I mean, are, are you going out with someone that you know for a while? Not always. Not not always, but I mean, do you, is it like in your circle of friends? Not always. Okay, because I know like I've met a lot of fucked up girls that I went out with on OK Cupid where it was like oh god you don't you don't know what's going to happen you don't know if they're co- like like you don't know what the vibes are you know what I mean I know that's uh, that's what I'm saying it's just get, make sure I that they're I, I'm into not it. I'm not saying that like th- I that just justifies my thinking I'm just saying that maybe it's a different situation if you meet them you know if you meet them on the street then it's like you sort of mingle and you get to a like comfortable safe space if you're just online hey I don't know. I like toast. Want to meet up? I don't know. know. I've you know, like <laughs> that's I've a good a, line. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> you just I've used like Tinder for that stuff, and I've never really seen that much of a difference. I yeah. just don't like. I don't see this. Uh, I don't, don't see this like grand paranoia that well, these, that a lot of these men have that like somehow now you can't talk to anyone or be yourself like yeah. i still make fucking gross ass jokes in front of girls of mine. none of them look at you know none of them fucking go you pig well sometimes they do but <laughs> usually laughing but um I get that Quite sometimes enough. I don't make gross ass jokes. Fuck the who are you hanging out with? Fuck those guys. <laughs> That's not even who I'm hanging out with, it's, you know, it's just people that happen to be around wherever I am. I also tend to <laughs> have a real filter when I talk anywhere. Yeah, that's a that's a and problem. That, that that becomes don't know what that's like. Yeah, Bill. I, you have I can come lead. across as being pretty gross and like, you know. Oh yeah, some of the, I mean, I get some of the shit that comes out of no, my mouth sometimes is offensive, and sometimes I need to be called the fuck out on it. But, no, like, the, the, I'm I saying I didn't seem to have to alter my behavior, and there's no one out there accusing me of raping them. Yeah. So. I, I mean, I, I agree, like, the paranoia thing is so fucking stupid. It's just yeah. pure par- Internet gives everyone paranoia, and it doesn't Maybe that's shit. part of it. Maybe. I don't I don't go on the yeah. Internet very often. I, just, I don't I'm do just Reddit saying, thing or anything. I'm, I'm just saying, like, compared to, like, so... Like you're saying, you you meet somebody at a bar and you mingle. And what my point is, like, you meet somebody there, or you meet them at a restaurant, or you meet them at a show. You see them like, are they getting fucked up? Is this okay? Because they are fucked up. You don't really know what's going to happen if somebody just shows up from. Okay, let me. All right, I think you have a misconception. I don't just like hit up a girl and be like, "Yo, come over so we can fuck." Like I smash question mark. Yeah, generally I take people out on dates and then we fuck afterwards. It's not like I'm not just no not hookers. No, no, but I'm saying you don't know what happened before and after. You you don't know what happened before and after as far as like intoxication and whether like you know like how people say don't do that shit, don't fuck anymore with anybody if you know they're intoxicated. Because you don't you don't know what'll happen. But the, okay, there's a the, but there's also discretionary levels to that. Just don't be a piece of shit. If she's slurring her words and can't walk, don't have sex with her. But I've been out. Maybe you know, she has but, a disability. No. So, okay, <laughs> then there's a whole other <laughs> amount of questions you need to be asking. But hey, man. Hey, maybe that's what I I'm into. Four toes. I can't walk a straight line. It looks like I'm drunk all the time. Yeah, man. And I walk into walls pretty regularly. So don't take Rob to the children's section. (laughs) (laughs) I can take myself there, thank you. (laughs) God. The stinky cheese, man. (laughs) Is that a book? (laughs) No, that's my nickname. (laughs) 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 Yes, it's a a book. No, that's his nickname in the the DuPage skeletons. (laughs) Hey, it's the stinky cheese, man. (laughs) Oh man. <laughs>